Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a grammar school. Our today's model contacted me in DM, begging me for a nail transformation. I know how much you love them, so stay tuned for a final look. Let's get into it. And here are today's nails. The cuticles are cracked and spreading. There are lots of cuts, so this case is not a piece of cake. I'll have to put in full effort. I know that such cuticles may scare off some nail technicians. It's so easy to cut them. The skin looks red, so the capillaries are close. We should be careful and choose a particular technique. For instance, if we use a blue drill bit to lift up the cuticle, we can cut the skin in the sinuses. And using nippers or a scissors wrong, we can also cut it. So, it's a nuanced case. To transform these short nails, I will extend them. So, stay tuned to see it. Let's prepare the nails first. I remove the free edge with a file and polish the surface with a harsh buffer or a file. These white lines are pterygium, the skin that is spreading onto the nail plate. And I have pushed the cuticle with an orange stick to reveal it. I partly remove it with a buffer and touch it up with the drill bit. Make sure to go with the buffer first. I'm using a red cone drill bit. It has got a dull tip, so it won't get too deep under the cuticle. It's also perfect for the lateral folds and the sinuses. We can polish the skin and leftover hangnails with its round side. But we should be careful in the wounded areas. I watch my model's reaction to prevent any discomfort. I have forgotten why the nails look like this. It's been a while since we filmed it. But there's been no manicure for sure. So, if you or your clients have spreading cuticles, make sure to push them and remove them on a regular basis. To avoid getting sensitive cuticles that are so hard to remove. The hands are sweating, so I will use dehydrating powder to dry the skin and remove it with the knee file. I'm using a blue drill bit. The cuticle is pretty thick, so a red drill bit won't do it. The blue one is fine. For spreading cuticles, I recommend e-file manicure, not a combined technique, to avoid cuts on such a sensitive skin. The drill bit files the skin gradually, step by step, with a lower chance of cutting. In case some skin gets stuck, but better not overfile it. If the area is red, then the skin is hot in there, so we need to use a cutting tool. I use nippers. The thumbnail is bitten and damaged. It's uneven. And the lunula is super wide. So the matrix is soft and we should be careful here. I decided not to overfile the skin, so I just touch up some areas with nippers and then polish them with the previous cone drill bit. It also polishes all the tiny hangnails. I switch from forward to rewind, back and forth, down with the manicure. A totally different look already. I love this before and after effect. The cuticles before the manicure and afterwards. I just love the transformation and how it always makes the client's nails feel a little bit lighter. Moving on to the extensions. I will be using paper forms. So I try them on to make sure they fit the smile line. I also make cuts since the nail folds are big and I need to set them free to secure the form well. 
The fridge is uneven on the thumb. There is none of it actually. So it's tricky to set up the form. But here is a life hack. We can extend the fridge first and then set up the form. I do a base coat layer, then add a drop of Acrygel and pull it down, forming the free edge. Cure it in the lamp, then file it, and here's a faux free edge that we can set up the form on. So use this life hack on short, badly beaten nails. Form setup is one of my favorite steps. I know that many nail technicians genuinely hate it but they just don't know how to do it right. For me, it's pure magic. Just a couple of cuts and the form fits the nail. That's perfect. And it's all nice and clean under the nail. No need to file it out or build up missing sides, parallels or corners. With paper forms, we can sculpt on every nail type. I cure the poly gel for a few seconds and then pinch it with thin pliers to narrow down the nails. Now I repeat this step on the rest of the nails. Note that we keep the fridge thin. And I decided to go with this white poly gel so that later I could get a baby boomer effect by adding another color to it. I wipe off the tacky residue and proceed with filing. I want to sculpt the nail with no filing, so I need to shape it at this point. I think a squabble shape will be perfect for this length. It will lengthen the fingers, unlike a square shape. I will sculpt the apex with a bottle gel, a builder gel that comes with a brush. I'm using this pretty sky blue shade. I slightly align the surface and put more gel on the stress zone. If I turn the nail over, we will see the free edge through. This white to sky blue gradient is so smooth. It takes two steps on the thumb. I put some in the center and then go from the cuticle to the free edge. A big drop of this color gel wouldn't have cured well in the lamp. Nail art time! I have found this masterclass. We need to grab some gel paint, spread it on a glossy paper, cure it, peel it off, and then cut it into pieces. We can cut out geometrical shapes of any kind. Super thin and plastic to nicely follow the nail curve. So, it's not like fake glass pieces that stick out a lot. This material is really soft. It slightly pops out, but a top coat will fix that. I also add stickers to accentuate the patterns and go on with a matte top coat. That's not it. Using a polishing drill bit, I seal the skin with oil to prevent hangnails. But it's not glossy enough to my liking. So I decided to add a glossy top coat over the silver rectangle. Now it looks rather chic. And here's a final look. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and check out more nail transformations on my channel. Make sure to subscribe. Success in your work. Good luck. Bye-bye.